Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene and today I'll show you how to make a mosaic out of cardboard. You're gonna need a napkin. I have a one with a lemon pattern. I'll link it below. I'm separating the thin top layer with the image first. I'll also use white cardboard sheets. I've borrowed them from my son's school supplies. I'm cutting the napkin into pieces to fit the cardboard. I'll attach the napkin using a sheet protector. I've already shown this method before. It works like a charm for any flat surfaces. I'm placing the napkin face down on the sheet protector and moistening it generously. Then I'm straightening it gently. The more water you apply, the easier it is to straighten the napkin. I'm just moving it sideways gently until the napkin is stretched over the sheet protector. After that, I'm coming in with the cardboard and coating it with white glue or Mod Podge. And then I'm placing the sheet protector with the napkin on the cardboard napkin side down. The sheet protector is transparent, so you can clearly see where to attach it. I'm pressing it with my fingers, then removing the sheet protector carefully, and you're done! After that, I'm applying more glue over the napkin. I absolutely love this method of applying napkins. It works great for any flat surfaces, as I told you, and you'll get a decoupaged image without a single crease. This is great! So I've attached all the napkins to the cardboard like this and let it dry well. After that, I've covered the napkins with another layer of white glue to make the surface crusty. The main thing here is to seal the surface well to make it water resistant for some time. I'm waiting for it to dry well and cutting off the white edges and then I'm cutting the images into small uneven squares, trying to make them in a range of sizes. Cutting will take some time, although suddenly much less time than preparing a real mosaic, which is what I'm going to imitate. I'll decorate this Dollar Tree metal tray with a mosaic. After I've cut all the pieces, I'm hot gluing them onto the tray. I'm trying to make all the seams more or less the same size. It's very convenient, then you can cut the pieces if necessary. I don't make any pattern here, but you can also lay out a circle out of small rectangles and tile the center with larger pieces. Tiling is a very exciting process. I'm covering the edges of the tray with smaller pieces. I've pre-cut the larger ones for this. And in the end, I strongly recommend that you seal the finished tray again to make it easier washing off the grout later. After the entire tray is sealed, I'm grouting it. Here I messed up a little as I began wiping off the tray only after covering it all with the grout and it would be better to work in small sections and wiping them really quickly. This is paper and not tiles after all. After the tray is ready, you can add dark wax to get a vintage effect, but I didn't want to darken the tray too much, so I just added diluted bash paint to make the seams less white, so to say. And in the end, I'm sealing the tray once again. The cardboard mosaic technique will let you decorate a variety of items. Of course, such a cardboard mosaic is not as long-lasting as a real one, but it's very easy to make, looks nice, and if you need a piece of decor that looks unique and doesn't cost a fortune, then this is just what you need.
Well, I hope you liked this idea. Please let me know which item would you decorate like this using a cardboard mosaic. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!